Man, it's Path the Pauper again, doing what I've been doing. Cracking packs, making money. We've got some recent sales on the channel, so you're going to be seeing a lot more product coming in. All those uh, high-value cards you've been seeing at the end, well, I don't have them all anymore. That's, that's kind of the point of what I'm doing here. Turn some of these into some of these. Let's go ahead. These are the last five packs out of the entire booster box of Times Power Remastered. So, tell me in the comments down below if you've liked it. If you've liked it, also hit the like button. You want to see more out of the next boxes? Hit subscribe down there as well. Let's go ahead, get busting through these commons real quick. A Chromatic Star, Monotype, Duskwood Bayloth, Orcish Cannonade. Now our first set of commons, a Basalt Gargoyle, Sliver Smith, Llanowar Mentor. Our rare out of the pack is going to be Ith High Arcanist. A paradoxical outcome for our retro frame back here. And as always, we're going to get a shit token, Sapperling. Not useful to me, but hey, I can proxy with it. No, I can't proxy with it. So, whatever. Yeah, if that's something you guys do, that's something I'd like to hear about as well. I've been buying some cards off TCG Player, and to be able to play test some of my decks, I throw in a proxy. You know, just a card with a printout of it on the front, so I can shuffle, get kind of used to how it would play. If that's something you guys do, let me know. Let's talk about it down in the comments. Get through the uh, comments here back again to a dark heart sliver now these are super great in a sliver deck being able to sacrifice the permanent to gain the life and you can do that as you're blocking so uh really nice to always get that three bounce back careful consideration is what i try and do when i'm playing a sliver deck i just got some double visions so i can spell burst on a beast got a stuffy doll oh look at that stuffy doll Indestructible, when it enters the battlefield, choose a player. Whenever that player is dealt damage, it deals that much to... Whenever Stuffy Doll is dealt damage, it deals that much damage to chosen player. Tab Stuffy deals one to itself. It's... It, it, oh, you can block with it. It's not defend or anything. Ah, that's kind of just annoying. Well, that's probably why it's on here. People have probably figured out some weird way to do stuff with it. Treasure Cruise. Now, as long as you're paying the delve cost, this could actually be really good. Stick around to the end of the card. You know, for the uh, cards I put up at the end there, those little uh, end pieces there with a colorful uh, splash on it. If you guys want to see any change in that, let me know. Please, I want to help make this uh, channel better, and your input helps as well. You know, I can't do this alone. We've got a Greater Gargadon. Suspend 10. That's, well, for a 9-7, I guess. It, I don't think it's worth much, but I know Thoughtseize is. This is right up on the top of the list. Now, super happy to see one of these. It's uh, good that in these last couple of packs, we're getting some money back. Not a foil, but boy, it's good to see one of them. We're going to get at least a nice $20 bill off of that alone. Now, still have not gotten our foil yet. We've only got the pack I just opened. It might be here. It might be here. It might be nowhere in this. If it's not in this, I might be going back down to the old man and get the next box. Because uh, how it usually works, if it's not in one, you get two in the next. And good goddamn, I'd love to get two of those. Right now, the lowest card in the foil retro is going for eight. The most expensive foil retro frame out of the set is going for 330. So uh, there's a reason I'm doing this gamble here. A Pact of Negation, solid as shit right up at the fucking top too. We're getting all the money out of these last couple of packs. A Disdainful Stroke for our retro frame. Hey, there we go. That's our uh, our foil, a manifold key. Now I think we just got a nice solid forty, maybe a fifty dollar bill off of this one here. Stay tuned to the very end to see what we're getting on that. 
And this is the last pack. See if we're getting any more juice here. So far, I feel as though this whole box has been pretty solid. Nothing too insane. Nothing um, uh, out of this world. It would have been nice to see two retros. But hey, a delay. Nice, nice. We're getting a little bit of money off of there. Griffin Guide. Dormant Sliver. No shit. First one I've actually pulled. So we're actually going to put that in our uh, deck. Now, one of the issues is all of them have Defender. So you got to be very timed when you do this. Magus of the Moon. A nice, solid hit as well. Feather, the Redeemed. A Legendary Angel. And Miri the Cursed. I don't think we're getting too much out of this, even though it is in foil. And a Griffin Token. Hey, Pat the Popper, can't believe it was the last video out of the pack here, but uh, uh, last last couple of packs out of the whole box. I'm just kind of blown away to finally get it. I've been searching the whole time for this bad beast here. Let me go ahead, gently get this up here. We're going to be selling that one in near mint condition. Top dollar holla. Love y'all. Be well. Join you for the next one soon. Pat the Popper.